let's look at number 18, four sum. We finished the three sum. And uh, here is the four sum. So we're given an array. Target is zero. We need to find out all the solutions that four, with four, which has four elements, which sums up to zero. So actually, we, we are fi already finished the three sum. So I'd like, uh, so please refer that first. I'll just write the solution. It's very straightforward. Uh, the first step is we sort uh, the elements and then loop through the elements. We fix the first uh, elements of the result, the leftmost to like for here, and then fix the second one here, and do the four two cursor for the rest. And then we remove the 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 cur remove the next uh, second element to the next one, and do the two cursor again. Pay attention to the uh, to the to pay attention that we need to skip uh, the skip to to skip to skip the turn when there are uh, consequential same elements. Okay, so. The first step is that just return for the irregular cases, like, okay, for const result, if nums length is more than four, of course we just return the result. Now sort, uh, sort. Sort call causes a O log n. Okay, and uh, now we fix the for first element. So for I For the first name, for the first element, because it's leftmost, it starts from zero. Okay, so here, not we should uh, stop at uh, this element, which is minus one, minus two, minus three, minus four. So smaller than minus three, because it's the first element. So we can safely say a skip if now we fix ne next element So here we should do the same. But here's a problem that uh, J actually starts from one, right? So the first for the first one, it might be the same to the uh, I, the ith element. We need to say that uh, J must not be the first. J must not be the first element for the for the uh, for all possible uh, numbers of J. So we need to say uh, J must be bigger than I at plus one. Okay. Now we start with two cursors. Need k equals j plus one. Let l equals the last the last index. What k is smaller than l? Sum equals
if it's zero, we'll push the result. If if it's smaller than or equals than zero, we move k and move to the next different number. So if k nums k equals nums k minus one, k plus one, we do the same for l. And uh, yeah, that's done. We return result. We run the code. Uh, wrong time error. Ah, God, we should push the array. Accept it. Let's submit. Hmm? Zero, zero, zero. We should expect it empty. Hmm? If we're given a real of zero zero zero, the solution is zero zero zero, right? We should return empty. Why? Mm -hmm. Uh, let's copy that. Ah, God, target. S sorry. It says the target is not zero. Oh, God. So if it's target, we push. If it's smaller than target, well, it's very simple. We just replace the target. So this is my bad. Yeah, it's not fast, but it's accepted, and, uh, okay, that's all for today. Uh, so we, we need to get the time, complexity, here's log n, and here is, uh, for two loops, so actually, it's n to the square the cubic. So time, I think this is, this is the time. I'm not sure whether it's right or not, but yeah. And the space. Wow, I don't know how to say this. Maybe 3CN? Not sure. Anyway, that's all for today. See you next time.